Now this question. A blue color liquid is used completely to make a star shape J using the mold shown on the right. It means what? Volume of this liquid and volume of this star is same. Right? There's a kind of pressure. What is the value of x in centimeter? What is x? X is this length. Ignore the wall thickness of the mode. So this thickness, this thickness we need to ignore. And consider value of pi 22 by 7. As I told you, uh, value of pi, you can take 22 by 7. It is preferable if you can cancel out. Or else for easy calculation, you can even take 3.14. You will get the answer, right? If it is not, the 7 is not getting cancelled, then you can take 3.14 also. Okay. Now, which shape is this? This is a prism. This is a prism. And volume of prism is given by area of base multiplied by height. Volume of any prism. Volume of any prism is given by area of base. Area of base multiplied by height. Correct. So, uh, volume of this blue liquid and volume of star is same. So, let's compare them. Okay. So, volume of liquid is easy. It's just a cylinder. And we know volume of cylinder is pi r square h. So, that is pi r. What is radius? Radius is 6 unit, right? Diameter is 12. So, radius is 6. So, pi times 6 square times height. Height, they have said 3.8 root 3. So, let me write 3.8 root 3. So, this is volume of lake. Now, what is volume of the star? Area of base. What is area of base? Now, uh, if you join uh, this way, right? If you, let's say, join it this way. What you get inside is a regular hexa. Regular hexa. You can again divide it like this. So basically, there are 12 equilateral triangles like this, whose length of side is x. Correct. There are 12 equilateral triangles. And area of equilateral triangle, area of equilateral triangle is nothing but root 3 by 4 side is square. Remember this one. Area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 side square. So, and how many equilateral triangles are there? 12. So, this is 12 times root 3 by 4 side. What is side? X. X square. So, this is area of base. This is area of base. And what is height? Height is 2. So, you multiply it by Okay, fine. So, as you can see, root 3 and root 3, we can cancel out. 4 and 4, you can cancel out. Right? Uh, there's nothing you can cancel with pi, right? So, you can take pi as 3.14, as I told. Right? Okay. So, the calculation becomes like this. x square is equal to x square is equal to pi, that is 3.14 times 6 into 6 times 3.8 divided by 12. 6 twos are 12. 2 threes are 6. What to get is 3.14 times 3 times 3.8 which will be approximately you know, this uh, calculation you do you will get approximately 35.8 35.8 you should be getting so obviously it's not exit perfect square we know 6 square is 36 eh? 6 square is 36 it's slightly less than 6 eh? very slightly less so x should be somewhere around 5.9 x should be somewhere around 5.9 and that's the answer that's the answer uh, in answer key the range given was 5.9 to 6.1 5.9 to 6.1. Right. So, yes, this lies in that range. So, value of x is 
5.9.